Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody had uh, asked me a question. When they first started using Corel, when they would do hit a plus sign to start a new document, a document dialog box would come up. And see, you have we have none. It just started with my document the way I've got it set. You can go right here to start a new document. So now I've got two documents started, but I didn't get the dialog box. He invertly probably turned it off the setting for default. But if you go to Tools, Options, and Corel Draw, under General, right here, Show New Document Dialog Box, have it checked and say OK. Then when we go start a new document, it's going to give you the document box and you could have, you know, if you want to do five pages or, you know, one page at a time, RGB, the size of your laser bed, the dot prints, the orientation, and you could actually name this job, which a lot of times is pretty important if you want to name this job. So that's what he's done. So now I'm going to press OK. And if you can see now we have a new document. And same thing on pages, if you want to, uh, we just have one page here, but if we, let's cancel this, and let's go to Tools, Options, Corel Draw, start a new document comes up. So we're going to start a new document, and I want five pages on this document. Just hit OK. So now you've got a new document with five pages. Once you've started working on it, if you hit this button, it'll go to page two, three, four, five, and back. These are just arrow keys. If you go to this arrow that actually has like to the end, it's going to jump to page five. Same thing, jump to page one. You could right click on page one and name it. If you were starting a lake map, you could, you could call it lake. And that way, when you're working on your pages right there, you know that that's the lake page. The next one could be your roads to the lake, and so on and so on. I hope that answered this question a little bit. Thank you for watching.